Hi everybody, my name is Cassidy Scatina and I am a fourth year animal science major on the pre-vet track. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about Cal Poly's animal science major itself. So what's really neat about the major is that it has two distinct pathways or concentrations. And one's just kind of the general animal science course. And then the other one is the course that pre-vet students take. And it sets you up to take the classes needed to get into vet school. And um, so today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about that. As a fourth year, I just applied to vet school and went through the process so I can kind of give advice on what classes to take um, and what that, the difference between the two kind of look like. So um, there's no like official concentration. You don't have to do any paperwork or anything to sign up to be on the pre-vet track. You just kind of take extra courses on top of getting your degree essentially is what it is. And what's really unique and what I love most about Cal Poly is that as a freshman and like your first quarter here, you start to take classes that are already offering hands-on learn by doing experiences. And like even as a freshman for me, I was at the dairy doing like the dairy calving enterprise and different classes um, of the sort. So when you're taking your undergraduate classes, Cal Poly also offers you to kind of pick and choose what classes you get to take along the way. Like for instance, when you take your companion animal class, you either get to choose between small animal companion course or equine science, which is what I did. Um, I chose to kind of track along the equine and more large animal courses. And so um, you also get to choose between your non-ruminant class um, and your ruminant class as well. And then once you get into your upper divisions, you get to kind of pick and choose between your tech management courses and your physiology courses as well. And all of the labs are super interactive. Um, those are the classes that I love the most to take because you really get to connect with your professors. You get to jump in and just gain the experience um, that you normally wouldn't be getting in your other courses. And the pre-vet me the pre-vet track itself, um, like I said, it's not like an official course, but a lot of vet schools really like you to take extra organic chemistry classes, extra physics classes. Um, occasionally they're gonna want you to take like another microbiology course, um, sometimes statistics, genetics. And um, essentially what that is, it, the flow chart kind of sets you up um, to take those courses so that you get um, a wide umbrella range of courses that you can apply to numerous vet schools and still um, it's not going to cover every single prerequisite um, you'll have to look at the specific vet schools to see what they require and um, somehow fit that into your schedule but it is very doable um, like i said i just went through the process and i'm a very active student i'm also the student manager of the cal poly equine unit and it's very easy to fit in all of those courses which it kind of looks overwhelming at first but it is doable to do and still take the fun classes that we all love to take. And something, one of my favorite courses, it's kind of an umbrella courses, is called our enterprise classes. And this is very unique to the Cal Poly animal science major itself. And these are all of the courses that um, can be taken credit, no credit, and it is required for the degree, but I took way more than required just because I had so much fun with it. But um, these are the classes that are strictly hands-on, um, like for my freshman year, I did a couple of enterprises at the dairy. I did our dairy herd enterprise and dairy calving. And we went and we helped um, during the calving season. We, we helped process all of the calves after they were born. And then my sophomore year, I did a couple more enterprises. I did like a beef cattle art artificial insemination one. And then recently I got very involved with the equine unit. And um, I'm actually here in our foaling barn and this is where I spent a lot of my time. We full out all of the Cal Poly mares here, and then they go into the um, other classes like the halter breaking class, and then um, I got to help out with our breeding program as well. So I feel like the opportunities are endless at Cal Poly, and um, between the animal science major, there's also employment opportunities. Like I said, I'm a student manager, and so you could also have the opportunity to work at the animal science units as well, if that's something that you're interested in. But um, otherwise, it's very interactive. I have learned so much and gained so many um, hands-on skills that I will utilize to go on to vet school. But uh, if you have any other questions, um, look at the animal science webpage online. But um, thank you and I hope to see you at Cal Poly.